Many of you have heard the spooky stories of Halloween, the ones of ghosts and goblins and black cats and all things frightening. However, this Halloween story is just a little different than the usual stories that you know of. This is the story of Mr. and Mrs. O'Lantern and their son Jack. You see, October is the busy season for Mr. and Mrs. O'Lantern, much like December is the busy month for Santa Claus. As Halloween approaches, the O'Lantern family business is at its peak. For many, many, many years now, this is the time of year the O'Lanterns shine the brightest. They work all year long at getting their scary faces just right. The spookier, the better. But you see, there is a problem. Because little Jack O'Lantern, he didn't want to follow in the family traditions and join the family business. He doesn't want to be scary or frighten people. He wants to be happy. He wants to smile often. But what Jack wants more than anything in the world is to fly. He would often sit in the pumpkin patch and look towards the skies and watch the birds soaring and dream to himself of a day he could join them. His parents would often catch Jack looking at the sky and scold him, tell him his dreams were silly and he needed to focus more on the family business and perfecting his scary faces. But Jack would still sneak away often and turn his eyes to the skies and dream until one day something amazing happened. As he was looking up, he saw something, something strange. It looked like a big fan and it was strapped to someone's butt and they were flying with the birds. What was this thing? Jack wondered. I must find out what this is, he said to himself. So Jack went online to YouTube and did some research. To his amazement, there was a whole community of these creatures flying these strange butt fans. There was a paramotor crazy wolf that could fly. There was someone called Woody who must have been made of wood, he thought to himself. There was 13 eagles that flew together and even found a gorilla that could fly. There was even some creatures that he didn't recognize like a deadling and a tucker got. There was even one called an O'Glee and Jack had to wonder to himself if the O'Lantern and the O'Glee family were somehow related. There were some that were close and there were some as far away as Jersey 577 that really enjoyed the sun. There were so many that Jack just couldn't keep up with them all and sometimes they would meet with bad apples for something called a fly-in. Bad apples, Jack thought to himself. If an apple can fly, then why not a pumpkin, he dreamed. Jack, being as excited as he was to find all these amazing flying creatures, started sending messages to them in hopes that one would answer him and help make his dreams come true. And there was one. There was one who answered Jack. It was a berry. A scary berry? And although Jack wasn't happy about the whole scary thing, he thought to himself, well, how scary can a berry really be anyways? And they decided to meet. Well, Jack and Scary hit it off great and became great friends. Jack learned many things from Scary Berry. Things like weather, safety, safety equipment, rules, regulations, and many, many other things. And then something amazing happened for Jack. Something he was told would never happen. A silly dream, they would tell him. Something that Jack himself even thought would never happen happened. Scary Barry took his friend Jack for his first flight. Jack had made it. His dreams had come true. He was finally in the very sky he had only dreamed about for so long. And it was the most exhilarating and the most amazing feeling Jack had ever felt. Well, after that, Jack was hooked. He had gotten his own butt fan and has been happy in the skies ever since. Jack would often look back to the past and the family business and how back then he would try to avoid anything scary. And how happy he is now that he didn't try to avoid the one scary thing that changed his life. Scary Barry, his lifelong friend. And that, my friends, is the true story of Jack O'Lantern.